morning, everybody. It's Mason at Newbart. Today, you're going to learn on Assure ID how to import data. As schools are coming back now, they have all new students that, need, that they need to get into their Assure ID system. Today, we're going to walk through doing that. Um, it's most important to know that you need an Excel file or a CSV file. We're going to be using a CSV today to put it on there with our Newbart High School. So first thing we want to do is get into um, the data entry. And here's your database. Click Import Wizard, click Next, and then select what you have. Again, we have a CSV. I usually check Log All Records. And then it does have a header row. Header row is the things that match up with your data fields on your A1, B1, C1, et cetera, like first name, last name, ID number. And then it's asking you to browse where it is. Um, I think mine is set into Newbart High School. There it is. Click Next again. Now it's going to pull up your import fields that you have on your header row and all of your template fields. And all we're doing is matching them up. Sometimes it pulls them up automatically if it's spelled and capitalized just the same way, like you see grade right here. But we're going to have first name here. We're going to find first name on this side, and we're going to click Add. Next one's going to be the last name. And last name, click Add. Grade is already taken care of. ID number is next. And then we find ID number and click Add but then select ID number and mark it as unique. This is important to make sure that you can't accidentally give somebody uh, the same ID number as somebody else. Once we hit next, we're gonna update existing records and import new records, or import new records only, or update existing records only. I don't have any records at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and click next, begin import. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, it's gonna, and how big your file is, it can make it go fast or slow. Mine's already done, as you can see. We're going to click Finish. And in a second, you'll see all of our records here for Newbart High School. And if you look over here on the side, this is going to be a preview what our badge looks like for all of our particular students. While we're doing this, I want to go over one quick thing on the card design to go over a couple of differences between a text label and a data field. This is your text label right here. What that does is allows you to put a text or wording on top of your card that does not change. For example, high school right here does not change. The word grade right here does not change. If you're looking at things that change per card, that's going to be a data field or even a compound field or a photo field. Those all change. That would be your first name, your last name, your ID number, the actual grade, and your photo. Then the barcode down here also changes as you um, have different ID numbers that are on there. Right here is the word image. That's not the same thing as a photo. Image would be a logo, like this logo right here, part of Newbart High School, is a logo. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you need anything uh, or an additional help, just reach out to us at uh, newbart.com or sales at newbart.com. Thanks.